Hey y'all, I'm Logan from with the Backwoodsman's Institute. Today's video will be talking about finding direction using the sun. The method I'm going to show you is called the shadow stick method. Now we all know that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. That's worldwide. Where you run into your differences using the sun, using solar direction, is in the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. I live in the northern hemisphere. The sun takes the path of the equator around the earth. So me being above that, the sun takes its east to west east to west path through the sky in the southern part of my sky because I'm above the equator. Now if I was in the southern hemisphere, it's the total opposite. The sun's going to take the northern sky making its east to west path. Now what you're going to need, you're going to need a somewhat of a straight stick uh, anywhere from two to five foot long. All right, The longer it is, the more longer of a shadow it's going to cast and the easier you're going to be able to see it, the sun turn this shadow around this stick. So that's a good thing, but you don't you don't need it. This one's about two foot long. Also, the thicker the stick is, the, the thicker the shadow is going to be on the ground. The easier to see. That's what I would use if it was an overcast day. I'd use a thicker stick so I could see that shadow laying down. Right now, the sun's out perfect. I'm only using about a three eighths of an inch stick wide, so I'm going to use that. It's going to cast a perfect shadow anyway. All right, the first thing you want to do, you want to put this stick vertically into the ground. If the ground's hard, you might have to take a knife and make a hole or get some rocks or something and pile it up. But that's what I'm going to do right now. All right, right here I got them stuck in the ground. I had to use some rocks to keep this stick vertical. But you can see it's casting a shadow. And I picked a bare piece of ground so you can see it. You want to pick somewhat of a flat piece of ground so your shadow is not distorted because you're using the shadow to find your direction. All right, I got my stick in the ground vertically. The first thing you want to do is you want to find the tip of your shadow on the ground. You want to place a marker right on the very edge of the shadow. Now that's your western side because the sun rises in the east. It's got this stick in between it and it's going to cast a shadow on the ground on the western side. Now as the sun goes across the sky, it's going to push that shadow more east because it's moving west. So what you want to do is you want to take markers. You want to wait 15 to 20 minutes, maybe even up to half an hour. And you want to watch that shadow as it goes across the ground. So after that 15, 20, 30 minutes, whatever, put another marker down on the edge of the shadow. That's going to be your western and eastern line. All right, it's been about 20 minutes. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark that tip again with another rock. And then to make it easy to see, I'm going to take a, a stick and line it up right there. Now this is our western point, this is our eastern point, this is our east and west line. Now to find north and south, you got to picture the cardinal cross. You got north, east, south, and west. And one way that I always remembered it was never eat soggy waffles in clockwise. That saying that was ingrained in me when I was a little kid in Boy Scouts. I've never forgot it. So with that being said, what you can do is you can either take another stick and make your own little cross right there and picture that cardinal cross north east south and west north would be this way south going to be that way now we'll check it with a compass all right as you can see right here this is the north that we found this way and our compass right here is pointing north they're in the same general direction but our compass north is a little off of the north that we found but that's because we found right here true north using the sun to locate directions now, a magnetic compass is going to pull from the magnetic field from the iron ore deposits in our North Pole. So it's a little off. At my location in the Northern Hemisphere, it's a little off from true, from true North. They're a little different. But North, nonetheless. The only difference you'll have in the North Hemisphere from the South Hemisphere is that when you're looking North, in the Northern Hemisphere, the sun's going to be to your back. When you're in the Southern Hemisphere, if you're looking North, you're going to be looking into the sun and uh, open sky is going to be into your back. That's the only difference. This method works wherever you are in the world. Now another thing you can do if you don't want to worry about all this stuff, one thing you can remember is that your first mark's your west. So what you want to do is you want to put your left foot on your western mark and your right foot on your eastern mark. That way your body is going to be looking north the whole time. Alright guys, if you don't have one of these, Get yourself a stick, have the sun out, get a couple markers you can put on the ground, and you can find your cardinal directions just by using the sun. 
that can get, that, get you out of a pickle in a survival situation. So hope you guys like this video. Catch you in a bit.